cannot tell you how many times the Lord made me empty my accounts and I did things that did not make sense there was a time my account was hacked and quite some serious money was taken out of it I went to the bank to meet with the managers and all the people there now, I was a righteous man by the grace of God and I love the Lord I sat there at the meeting and the people look you have all the people who stay close to you they must write a statement you know police and all of that and I said no these people are sincere say well that's none of our business we are doing our work and I sat down there in the midst of all of that you can't imagine how the millions I had lost and then the Lord spoke to me and said son what are you doing here in the middle of a meeting I said I mean my money they just use these guys just and the Lord said who owns it and I said you are the one I'm a steward listen 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 and he said if it, if it is true that you've given me everything get up from that meeting and walk away God is my witness I looked at them and I said all right thank you for everything let the money go no 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 this is our reputation I said listen this is my money I have chosen to forget about everything and that's it when I walked out of that bank there was a joy that I could not explain there are some things you cannot understand until you are in certain situations that joy You would think that would be the end of it. Many years ago, it was in the seminary. I was diagnosed of a very strange fungal infection. It started eating up my head. It was a very serious situation. I thought it was just a little, maybe some issue that antibiotics and the rest will solve the problem but it metamorphosed into something very serious i got to a point where they could not allow me sit in front because it was inconveniencing people no matter how early i came for a program i would have to go to the back now the students love me sincere people but there was a time i had to wait while people are at the dining hall, I would have to wait. After food is shared, my portion will be brought for me. They prepared a solution that I would have to rub on my head in the morning and then soap or something in the night. If I forgot to put it one day, it will show sometimes there will not be water and i'll have to stand in the rain look let me tell you the truth don't claim titles so i am apostle i am prophet let your scars he said let no man trouble me hallelujah i remember the pain and the discomfort one time they, I went to the lab and they had to take some sample. It was so painful to culture it. Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be? You waited. You wait, God gave an instruction to go for a crusade. We were just starting. We prayed and we fasted and fasted and fasted. We now went for the crusade, anointed but broke. You would think excelling in one area will cover for the deficiency of another area. Are we together? Preach the gospel with power. There were not many people who were gathered, sincerely speaking. That was the first disappointment. But I was happy at least we were starting. 
not more than 50 people people look at me today and, and say apostle there is a grace upon you that does this and that let me tell you how it came people don't just listen to you now you see we're opening up these cars for you so that you will know when people honor people it's not human worship they are not honoring just the human vessel they are honoring a man who is a compendium of victory sacrifice endurance hallelujah do you know when we got there the money to pay for the hotel to pay for the sound i asked the sound people to come it was on credit imagine you are a sound man and i'm a preacher shouting the faithfulness of god on a crusade ground preaching that god can do everything there are times you have to preach the truth even if your life does not yet have the results because you are you are bound listen you are bound by a covenant to be truthful to god's people regardless your experience you must stand for that truth i'm showing you a price it's a serious price i was done preaching when the crusade was over everybody was happy there were bills and bills there was no way they didn't have anybody that you can call and say help me the sound people said listen we came here and i had to plead with them look for someone who got some amount to give them and i promised them just give me a little time you can imagine how do you i mean on one hand you are celebrating healings and miracles but on a, where is the god who raised somebody the, a blind eye opened how much is the bill that he cannot pay so when we sing today that god is faithful for me it's not a special number there are many stories that make that song come alive let me show you from where the anointing flows the anointing flows through the allowance that your scars have created are we together